Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Siti Nur Khadijah binti Wan Sohaimi from BA 1185 IA. What it is the current issue for these days? It is the issues regarding the internet issues which occur the children. Let me explain what they do that it becomes such a hot topic these days. It is children spend more time on the internet and are the most active internet users and unfortunately are the subject to a number of traits. There are a lot of internet issues that the parents worry the children might become exposed to the negative thing in the internet such as violent content, sexual content, gamers, and addicted to online games. So, let me explain about the four negative things of issues that happen to the children when the parents do not take serious of this matter. Number one is violent content. Violent content can make the children become very, very dangerous to other children because they will copy from what they saw on the internet and use it, for example, to other kids. Number two is sexual content. Sexual content is the example of watching pornography and it can become the addicted to the children because they do not know what they are watching curious about what it is and just continue to watch it until they become addicted to it and also they do it in real life oh my god such a scary kid number three is scammers when they target the children to scams by getting their accounts hijacked to being a coppers into giving up sensitive information like credit card details and somehow the children tend to overshare their personal information to other people on the internet Scammers. Number four is the last one is addicted to online game. It's when the children found games that they like and play it for like every day, every night, every hours, every minute, and every second until it becomes affected to the children's health. So now I'm going to show you the report video that we get from parents about their child's problems. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sure. Okay. Yes? You want to interview me? Okay, I'll go back. Oh, sure. Um, actually, my name is Alisha and I am a manager at Behead Entertainment. Um, actually, I just got back from my children's schools and the school principal just called me to pick up my daughter from school today uh, because she fought with her friends. Can you believe this? I just can't believe this is my own doctor. Okay, so I am a very busy person since I am the chief manager. I don't have time to take care of my doctor. I gave her phone since I can't spend too much time together with her because I was busy at work seven days per week. And since I gave her phone and she always spend her time with the phone and always watching some cartoons or movies on the internet. At first, she didn't know how to use it. But as the time goes by, she even spent her time on the internet while we eat dinner together. But for the past few months, I noticed that she became aggressive to, to the point that she always fight with her friends. Actually, I don't know how could the phone and the internet could change someone's behavior so much. You know that actually I'm really good at my decision back then. To give her phone, we don't need to about what kind of movies and what kind of cartoons that she watched. One day, my younger brother was playing the phone on the couch in our living room. As usual, he will watch interesting video clips on YouTube. Suddenly, one of the inappropriate video came out in the timeline bar of my brother's YouTube account. Without hesitation, I became angry with him even though he had explained that the video came out spontaneously on his YouTube account. Hi, my name is Yana. I have a son 
and he is 10 years old. I work from home and my son also learning from home. Then one day, I checked my saving account to count my saving. But then, I realized the amount of my saving less than the last time I checked. So, I count, I count, and I count again. Then I look at the history of the bank account. I found out that 1,500 of my saving is gone, which is transferred to the person I don't even know. And I wondered who did this. But then I remembered my son playing with my phone yesterday. So without further ado, I asked my son about it. Then he told me that he purchased an online games without me knowing using my phone through websites. And guess what surprising me even more that he know how to transfer using online banking. But as I expected, he did not get the online games that he purchased. He scared to tell me. Then I started to realize that my son got scams by scammers through website. I'm shocked that I just lost a lot of money. We might be worried to children who are addicted to play online games. As the children become more and more involved in these online games, there is an increased disconnection from family and friends. Children who are addicted to online gaming frequently experience sleep deprivation. In this case, children play online games till late at night. The children were too focused with their online gaming. Besides that, they play online games and pretending to be an older people while trying to hide their real identities. However, they started to contact with the stranger people while playing the game. Internet safety, online safety or cyber safety is to be safe on the internet and it is the act of maximizing a user's awareness of personal safety and security risks to private information and property associated with using the internet. As the number of people using the internet continue to rise around the world, internet safety is becoming more of a concern for children. Malicious users, websites, software, as well as numerous sorts of options or offensive information are all common internet safety concerns. Many people, countries, organizations have expressed concerns and are committed to ensuring the safety of children who are using the internet. Internet safety for children usually depends on parents whether they are being aware of online risks and understanding their children or not. If the user wants to stay safe online, firstly, they need to learn the risks of the internet and how to avoid them. A recent survey has revealed that 38 of report from parents about their children seeing inappropriate content online that will make the children be more curious and wanted to know a lot about new things. Also, there are 36% of parents report that their children have encountered with online scams since last year. And lastly, found out about 7.4% of parents are still not concerned about their children's online safety and let their children do what they wanted to do with the internet. Now, let's talk about what actually are the negative impacts of the internet for children. First and foremost, children can avoid harmful things when they are browsing online. The children can avoid all of the dangers such as viruses or phishing that often pop up as advertisement because most of them don't really understand about it and just click it. The second one is the increasing of aggression. Children have a wider imagination than adults and this is making them become more vulnerable to the content they came across of their eyes. The frightening elements of the internet making their fear of being alone and they are also become more sensitive to the point become aggressive clearly same as what they saw on the internet. Oh my god, it's so frightening. Let's move to the third one is physical and mental health problems. These two problems have such a big connection with each other because the longer kids spending their time on the internet or computer, the faster kids will get those problems. Actually, there are a lot of physical problems such as vision problems or arm and finger numbness for kids. And for the mental health, they will have anxiety, loneliness and also depression. Based on research, one in every five children will have a serious mental illness before they reach adulthood. The fourth one is, it can affect on children's social development. Back then, our parents knew that us as a children can develop communication through the relationship with caregivers, peers, and adults around us. But kids these days 
lack of that. The more time they spend on the internet, the more their social development suffers in the part of interacting with others. <clears throat> Do you want to know why this topic is important? It is because internet safety for children comes up as the top priority when children browse the web. It is important to safeguard them from dangers such as obscenity, malware, scams, cyberbullying, and so on. Actually, we are aware with each new technological of the internet, there are hidden dangers and threats linked with its use. Actually, there are two risks that we must be aware of. The first one is content risk. Content risk is the content that will make kids feel uncomfortable if they come across them accidentally. For example, sexual content, real simulated violence, and also advertisements on the website. The other one is content risk. Content risk is the risk when children come into contact with people they don't know or with adult posting as a children online. Children may be exposed to share their personal information to them. The children usually come to the internet just for fun and there are a lot of strange people out there who take it as their own advantage and this is lead to the children's unfair contracts. Unfair contracts can happen when children signing up to terms or condition they are not aware of and this is might be dangerous to the parent as well. Why? It is because they can access their personal information such as bank accounts, address or IC number. So today, I want to explain how to create awareness on internet safety for children. Basically, there are three age levels that we need to focus on. First age level is preschooler, which starts from 3 to 5 years old. For this age group, it is better to use a kid-friendly search engine such as Kidtopia or KidRex that only retain users to kid-friendly results. Next, use parental control. With proper parental control, the administration of your kids' digital becomes effortless. The controls allow you to refrain your kids from accessing inappropriate content. Second is middle childhood. Start from 7 until 9 years old. You must be open and honest with your children at this age. Tell your children what you like and what you don't want them to do on the internet. Moreover, set the standard for what your children can and cannot do online. It is important to make rules for your kids so they know what is expected from them. Don't wait until something bad happens to start creating guidelines. The last age level that we want to focus on is also middle childhood, but the age starts from 10 to 12 years old. For this stage, you need to teach your children to use social networking sites safely. For example, tell them if you share something with friends, it's still possible for it to get into the wrong hands and it will affect their account. You also need to use energies. The concept of cybersecurity such as computer viruses and password sharing may be difficult for children to understand. To make them be more understand, you can explain that sharing a password of your online account is similar to giving your doll up to an unknown bad guy. By giving such analogies, it helps children to understand the dangers of cybersecurity and physical security. Now, I will explain who is responsible for creating awareness on internet safety for children. First is government. The government is the first one who need to take part in creating more awareness on internet safety for children. They can make an awareness campaign every quarter or every year so that parents and children are more aware of this danger. Second is parent. Parents also have to take part in giving awareness to their children because they don't even know what their kids do with their gadget. Parents have to monitor their kids and know who their children's online friends are every time they are on their phone or surfing the internet. The last one is social media companies. The social media companies such as website handler or games can reduce the amount of advertisement that they always use to make money from it. They also have to consider the age level for their website or games so that the children can't be easily able to reach the website or games.